G'day and welcome back to the channel. Well, I got myself set up. I uh, came out a bit early and set up the set up the swag and the and the tarp and set up a fire. This is a new campground. I haven't been here before. Uh, it's in a bit of a grassy area of a natural bushland. We're down south of Canberra, um, sort of up in the hills, but not quite. It gets pretty cold here at night, but it's not going to be too bad tonight. Probably down to three or four or something like that. So. Shouldn't be too bad. This is the view looking east, so I'm going to get the sun coming up over that hill in the morning, which will be good, and it'll shine into my uh, into my swag. This is the camp that I've set up today. Um, handy that I could bring the car, so lots of stuff that I could bring with me, which was good. Uh, as you can see, I've got the swag set up with a tarp over the top. Expecting pretty heavy dews again tomorrow, and I don't particularly want to deal with too much wet swags. Just about to cook some dinner. Got the fire going, waiting for some coals to form up. I've got a bit of steak there and some veggies, which I'll cook up. Put some Tabasco on, should be good. Got a few kangaroos bouncing through here earlier and a yellow-cheeked honey eater. But other than that, it's been pretty calm. I was already set up and went for a walk out the back of the back of the swag there and about, I don't know, 15, 20 metres behind me looking for some firewood and there was a massive, fresh wombat hole. So I might get a visitor during the night as soon as the sun goes down, which would be pretty cool. Maybe it doesn't, uh, doesn't cause me any grief. They can make a fair bit of racket when they want to and they can scratch and carry on, but hopefully he'll steer clear of me or just pass on by. But yeah, he's literally at my back door. Yeah, so this is the back of the back of the tarp, back of the camp. Pretty close to the little wombat hole, just right here. Uh, hopefully he won't uh, cause me any grief tonight, but might make a new friend. Fatso Mark II. This is my new ute, which is uh, four-wheel drive, so I can get out to this property. Uh, but last last car I had was only two-wheel drive, so I was unable to get in. So I had to park at the fence and walk in, which was which was fine. But yeah, it's good if you can get in here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty muddy, so. It was quite fun. I'm not used to driving four-wheel drive, very inexperienced, so it's a bit of a learning curve, which is always good. But I'm um, taking it one step at a time and uh, learning the limits of myself and the truck. But yeah, it's good fun. Should have done it ages ago. My wife's not such a big fan of four-wheel driving. I haven't been able to encourage her to come out yet, but hopefully one day soon. The kids are all up in it though, as you can imagine, and uh, I'll probably head home tomorrow and then come back out again on Sunday. It's Friday tonight and I'll probably come back out on Sunday with them and and have a bit of a bit of a spin around. Looking and sounding pretty bloody good. Pretty hungry too, didn't get any lunch in today so I was working pretty hard all morning from about six o'clock right through until about one before I scooted out here so I haven't had much of a chance to have a break so it's good to sit down. Well, suffice to say, pretty happy with that. Something I picked up from Rick Stein. I could be a celebrity chef anytime. Pretty nice sunset. Got a cloud in the sky, so maybe it will get a bit colder tonight than I thought. But, all good. I've got my down quilt, I've got a queen size woolen blanket and my sleeping bag, so I should be right. Bird settling in, frog starting off, might be a noisy night. Well, sun's starting to go down, so it's getting a bit dark. I've got a little lamp down there, but it's not showing much light. thought I'd have a quick chat. I hope you can see me. I thought I'd just sort of maybe talk a bit about me and about my, my little journey and where I've been and what's brought me to this time and place. Um, basically, when I was 
when I was little, I spent a fair bit of time camping. I, I was part of scouts and all of those sorts of things. And it was a different world back there. There was crazy little canvas tents that you took three blokes to put up. And all I remember was getting splinters from the tent poles and trying to hammer the really pe weird pegs in. But we got there and it was good fun. And I, you know, I didn't particularly like scouts for all of the marching and the parading and the you know, dibs, dib, dib and dob, dob, dob and all that sort of stuff. But you know, the chance to get out and go camping and get out in nature and learn about how to start a fire and knots and all that sort of stuff it was certainly good fun. And you know, had a good bunch of mates that come along with me and we did that. And it was really good and I got kind of, kind of into it. And as I got older and gave all that up, you know, the whole camping thing never really went away. And right through school, we used to go camping. There was a, like I grew up in country New South Wales and there was a lot of national parks and we used to go out and spend a fair bit of time out in the, out in the bush, particularly at the river. Uh, we grew up near the Murrumbidgee River and we'd go out there and take a tennis ball, swag, a couple of tents maybe couple of eskies and that was it and we were set and it was good fun and we'd, we'd have a great old time out there and, and then you know turned 18 life took a bit of a bit of a turn and I moved to Canberra went to uni so that sort of put a bit of a pave to all of that sort of stuff because you know life took over a bit and I was there about maybe I don't know, two years or maybe 18 months or something I can't remember when it was but I was there for a couple of, for a little while and then this mad pommy guy turned up on our doorstep and he was a bird watcher and uh, I, I, I became good mates with him and, and he was always out you know, chasing birds whether they were you know, in the backyard or across the other side of the country or even on the other side of the planet he was all up in it and, and he took me with me with him a fair bit I didn't you know I liked the birds but I wasn't as into it as he was but it was a great opportunity to go traipsing all over all over the Brindabellas and the Magi and Jerobomba Wetlands and Campbell Park and all these other places around Canberra and just outside and into the bush. We went on a lot of 21st birthday parties and things right out, right across New South Wales and and uh, and camped and we, we, we did the bird thing. I went out with, with him all the time. We even went out on a few pelagic trips, so off on a boat out into the, out into the, off the coast of, south coast off Wollongong. Went looking for seabirds. That was his, that was his specialty and his favourite. So we, we did that a few times. So, so that was kind of kind of good. It got me back into it. And then, you know, life took another turn. And uh, I met my soon-to-be wife, which was which was one of the best things that ever happened, of course. And uh, also, you know, life and career took off. And and the whole camping thing never really, yeah. You know, Went, went anywhere after that and the one time I, I took, took my wife camping we went it was in May of 2000 oh, no sorry May 1997 and we drove from Canberra down to the south coast and then around around the coast all the way to Adelaide so we went right around and it took us about two and a half weeks or something like that and we camped the whole way except for when we were in Melbourne and Adelaide but we had a little little tent in the back of our laser and off we went and and it was a great time, and, and I thought, yeah, we're having, having a great, great old time. May, to keep in mind, so it was pretty bloody cold down that part of the world. And uh, we travelled around, and we saw all those parts of Cam parts of Australia we hadn't seen before, which was fantastic. And then on the way back, we we hightailed it from Adelaide back to Canberra, and it was a two day two day trip, and we stayed over at, in Mildura. And it was a particularly cold night, and we we set the camp up for the set the tent up for the last time, and settled in and went to sleep and I had a good night's sleep and I woke up in the morning and we got up and my wife was like, okay, we never go camping again, do we? So that was it. So for the next, whatever it is, 25, 30 odd years, we've been living in hotels whenever we go away, which is, which is fine. You know, her idea of camping is, you know, a sweet overlook in the harbour and it's not without its charm too, I might add, so that's always good fun, but Actually, it's, we did go camping one more time. When we were in Yosemite, we, we had a little glamping tent thing. It wasn't really camping, but it was close. But, yeah, that was it. So, But a couple of 
uh, maybe I don't know, three or four years ago, I got back into hiking and walking and all that sort of stuff and really just looking for a chance to get back out and connect with nature and you know, look after look after my body and get a bit healthier again and you know work and things like that stuff had taken its toll and I hadn't really been out much so that was good and then last Christmas before last my wife bought me a swag for for, my, for Christmas and that was you know that was a sign so I've been out camping ever since and it's been good so that's my little story my little journey I think it's fantastic to be able to get out in nature I love it I love you know just being out here by myself I'm a absolute high functioning introvert I spend my whole time talking to people at work and I work in charity work in charities my whole life and not for profit sector I love you know the community sector it's fantastic but and I spend my whole life yeah just connecting and engaging with people but it, it's it's hard work for a person like me so I like to you know, balance that with some time by myself and this is certainly giving giving me that sort of soul juice which I, which I need which is fantastic so that's great but anyway that's my time, my journey, my story. It's brought me out to this part of part of Canberra. It's a little natural bushland. Fire's dying down, so I'm going to stoke it up. So I'll uh, sign off for tonight, and I might see you in the morning. See you soon. Oh, good morning. A bit windy this morning. Sun's slowly coming up over the hill. Take a while before it actually gets up above that thing. It's nudging six o'clock now, so I get up and get a coffee on. again. Got the fire going, got the billy on, making a cup of coffee. It's going to watch the sunrise come up over the hill. It's quite nice, there's not a cloud in the sky already, there's no fog. I slept pretty well last night, I woke up a couple of times. It was a bit colder than I thought. There's another pretty good dew on the ground but I covered all the wood so hopefully we'll be all right. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to have a coffee, might pack up and then go for a bit of a walk around. Yeah, I might go for a quick hike up through the through the bush there and see what I can see. There's 1,100 acres here, and I've only explored a little tiny bit of it, so plenty still to see. I didn't have any any friends drop by during the night that I can tell any evidence of. I didn't hear anything, so it's all been pretty quiet. Nice peaceful night. Anyway, I'll wait for my coffee and. Uh, Sit back and enjoy the sunrise. Birds are going off. Usually happens at sunrise. exactly sure what they are yet, I haven't seen them yet, but um, there's a bunch of honey eaters here yesterday, so I have a feeling it might be them be used to nesting around here somewhere. Whatever they are, it's very cool. Well, that's Brecky done. 
sun's slowly coming up. I won't get over that hill for another probably an hour and a half, I wouldn't have thought. But it's fully light now, basically. Yeah. Well, this is the last weekend in winter. The days are certainly starting to get a bit longer, which is nice. And hopefully, the next few camps will start to warm up a bit. You know, as much as I like getting out in it when it's cold, it's, it is a bit of a pain having to you know, make sure you bring heaps of layers and I've done things to sleep with. Some of it makes it easy, but then you've got to deal with mozzies and bugs and spiders and snakes, because this is snake country out here. But, yeah, it's all good. But right, I might just finish my coffee. Set the, pack the camp up. And go for a walk, go for a hike. If I see anything, I'll check back in. But Probably just go for a hike and not, not video anything, so... I guess this is me signing off, so until next time, stay safe.